This is Mitch with SB Coders and today I'm going to be showing you part 4 in our iPhone SDK series which is going to be how to pass data between classes and view controllers. Um, a little bit trickier than you might think but I'm going to show you how to do it very straightforward easy way so hopefully you guys can uh, follow along. With that let's start. Um, we're make a new project view based as usual, basis for most things, and just name it whatever you want. I'm going to call mine uh, Data Center. Seems appropriate. Um, sorry if I'm going fast and just pressed for time here, the YouTube upload time limit. Um, we're going to want to add, uh, first off, let's just organize this for a sec. Um, add a new view controller. Um, in addition to the one it comes with, just add it or call it second view. And we shall move this into the resources. Um, I'm going to set up the code first. I like doing a little bit of code first before we mess with interface builder. Um, so in our, the original thing that came with, uh, the original header file. We're going to want a, um, an IB outlet, a UI text field. You can just name it field works. We're going to need an action called, um, let's call it change view. And go ahead and implement that right now. Okay, a couple things we're going to import here. Um, we are going to need that second view that we just added, and we're also going to need um, our app delegate, which is our name of our project with app delegate um, appended to the end. Um, this is going to where we're going to keep our. This is going to be like our data. Our data center is going to be in the app delegate. Uh, it makes it easy to access from, you know, pretty much everywhere. Um, so I'm going to show you how to do that right now. To make a reference to our delegate, um, you just like you would like a view controller. I'm just going to call it data center, but it's going to be. Um, Defined a little bit differently. It's going to be um, uh, no, 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 not that one. Not what we just made. We want the actual app delegate in like this, and then we're gonna like that. And what this is is pretty much it's just a pointer to our app delegate inside of our application. So that this is just going to point right to um, this fi these files right here, which is what we want because that's where our data center is going to be. We're also going to want need to um, uh, uh, define our second view here. So it's just going to be um, set this up. You guys should know how to do this by now. It's pretty, uh, pretty straightforward how to change views. Check out my other video if you do not know how. Um, and then we're just going to tell this class to, oh, oh present um, the second view. And yeah, we want it to be anim animated. Um, another thing that we're going to want to do is we're now we want to set up our data center now inside of our data center and how we're going to do this is because we're only going to be storing one like object in it we're just going to need to find that so we're just going to uh, it's just going to be a string for this tutorial and it's going to be we'll just call it data and one more thing this is going to be the confusing part about this we need to um, property this property and synthesize this thing 
Um, the reason for this is if you've ever done like a Java, you need getter and setter methods for like setting and changing the value of something. So we're just going to do um, copy read write is what I like to use for this. Um, I think you can use maybe uh, retain. Nah, I don't think you can use non comic retain, but this is what we're going to use for this. So just copy what I say or what I do. Uh, so there, and then we're going to go into our implementation and we're going to synthesize what we just did, our object data, just like that. And this pretty much just makes getter and setter methods for us, which sets and changes values. Um, just build this. Make sure it works fine for now. Uh, we'll deal with the warning later. Um, okay, so cool. So now from here, inside our main view, we can just uh, change this right here. We can go, because what we're going to want to do is uh, change the value in our data center so we can pass it to the new view. So we're just going to go on data center dot data, which is the thing inside the data center we just made, is equal to field text, which is our UI text fields text that it will that it contains when we press this button so there's that um, second view we're gonna need a IV outlet uh, UI label let's call it label and inside the view did load um, actually going to need to import our um, app delegate here too and we're just going to define that again real quick um, probably should have done this globally but uh, doesn't really matter, I guess, since we're only using it once. And then we're just going to go um, label. Uh, set the text of the label we're going to put in to, um, to data center's data is what this is going to do. And that should be good here. Blah, blah, blah. And now we need to go into interface builder. Let's open up our first view controller that's going to pass the data to the data center. Um, all right, there we go. So the grays is going to, well, you know, we'll leave it because we don't have time. Um, like, like, uh, like we defined, we're going to need a uh, text field. And we're also going to need a, um, a a button to call our action that we that we made earlier. Um, this, you don't have to put anything, but I'm just going to do this. Getting super laggy right now. And connect um, our text field to our field and our action to our button touch up inside you guys know what all this is for okay so we're done with this view and then in the let's open the second view and in this one we're just gonna need because we only made one thing in here just a label I'm gonna just center this like that and once again, just connect this to the label object that we made. Save this and build and run. All right. So if all goes well, we should be able to enter text on our first view and uh, pass it to the next view when it uh, loads up. Just passing data between views. All right, here we go. So if this worked, which it very well should have, um, we, whatever we enter in here when we change view should show up right there. And that is how you pass data to a different view.